Hey guys, so right now I am working through the worksheet on the diffusion and osmosis beaker um, when we are talking about hypertonic, hypotonic, and isotonic solutions, talking about the solute and the solvent. So just to go over a couple things, um, water is known as the universal solvent. So that's a great way to remember that water is always going to be re um, referred to as the solvent. And all the solute is is salt or sugar. In other words, the other stuff that is in the beaker, okay? And what I want you to also understand that solute is not the same thing as solution. The solution is when solute is dissolved in the solvent. So a couple things before we get started. Isotonic is when there is a balance, and typically you guys get that down pretty quickly, is when it is equal. The ones you guys really struggle with is hypertonic and hypotonic. So when we are looking at these words, I want you to make some connections. Hyper has the word hyper at the beginning. Think of a hyperactive kid. Hyperactive kids, moms don't want to feed them sugar, okay? You probably also shouldn't feed them salt because they might just get hyper from being overstimulated. So hypertonic is the side of either the beaker or the cell with more salt or sugar, also known as the solute. Hypotonic, I want you to think of hippo, like a hippopotamus. Hippopotamus really like water. So this is the side with more water, therefore less solute or salt or sugar. Okay, so there's your little cheat sheet. So going through this, we are gonna be looking at various different beakers and what I want you to see is that these little guys represent the water molecules that's why there are two hydrogens on either side and an oxygen this is the solute or the salt or sugar okay and it's going to ask you what is the solution of the beaker or it's going to ask you about the cell the beaker guys is this area around the cell the cell is the thing that looks like a cell in the middle of the whole beaker so First things first, let's look at where there's more stuff. So let's start with water. Water, where is there more water? There's definitely more water on the inside, okay? So more H2O here, and there's definitely less water out here and more solute or salt or sugar, okay? So I'm asking you what is the solution of the beaker? Well, the solution of the beaker there's more solute, there's more salt or sugar, so the beaker is hypertonic, hypertonic. Now, if I asked you what was the, the um, solution of the cell, that would be hypotonic because it has more water and less solute. So the solution of the beaker is going to be hypertonic. And in the beginning, I'm gonna write down exactly why that is because there is more solute and less water. Okay, so let's talk about what is going to end up happening here. So let's talk about the movement. What's going to end up happening when we put this cell inside this solution is the solute or that salt, because there's more of it, it wants to go from a high concentration to a low concentration because this is an example of simple diffusion where we're always moving from a small, a high to a low concentration and we're looking at small and uncharged particles. So what's going to happen is that salt or sugar is going to go in the cell and as a result the water is going to leave because there's more water on the inside. So we're going to still go from a high to low concentration. Looking at the next one, a little bit of a different picture. This time we don't have the molecular models, instead we have measurements. And you guys haven't taken chemistry, and in physical science, you should have found out generally what M means, but maybe you don't remember. That is the moles, okay, or the amount. It's just a measurement of the amount of that particular substance inside that area. So in the solution or the beaker, we have 0 0.2 moles of glucose. What is glucose? As a reminder, anytime it has an os at the end, that's a sugar. So fructose, glucto glucose, galactose, etc. Those are all forms of sugar. Okay, so that tells you that's a solute, okay? On the inside, we've got one mole of glucose. So I didn't tell you anything about water here. So this time I can't look just at the water. I have to look at the solute. Well, where is there more solute? 
even if you didn't know what that M meant, you can make it piles of poop. I don't care. 0 0.2 piles of poop of glucose or one pile of poop of glucose. Which one's bigger? The inside. Okay. So here we have more solute or salt or sugar. Here we have less solute. Because we have less solute out here, what can we have more of here? We can have more water. And because we have more solute here, we have less water. So before we even talk about the beaker, what is the cell? The cell has more solute, so it has more salt or sugar. Therefore, it is hypertonic, like a hyperactive kid, okay? The beaker has less sugar, which means it has more water, which means that's hypotonic. So when we're looking at this, the solution of the beaker, be very careful when you're reading these. Don't just assume I'm talking about the cell. The solution of the beaker would be hypotonic. Next one, back to a molecular model one. Here we are. Look at your water molecules. If you freak out and you don't know what represents what, you can ask and I'll always say no if I can't answer, or you can figure out H2O. Okay, so there should be three different elements in there paired together to make a compound. So we've got two hydrogens and an oxygen. So let's start out. Where is there more water? Well, there's four here and there's four here. Okay, where is there more solute? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, they're equal. If they're equal, they're just going to keep going back and forth, trying to keep that homeostasis or that equilibrium. Remember, homo is the same, so they're trying to keep a balance, okay? So this wouldn't be hypertonic or isotonic, or hypotonic. This would be isotonic. Gave you the answer. Isotonic of the beaker and the cell. So if I asked you about the beaker or the cell, it would be isotonic. Moving on. Let's do this one. Same deal. Where's there more water? I hope you very obviously see that there's a ton more water out here. In here, we've got a lot more solute. So, hypertonic means there's more salt or sugar. Where is there more salt or sugar? In the cell. So this is going to be hyper. Where is there more water? For a hippopotamus or a hypoponymus, it would be in the solution. So the solution of the beaker is hypotonic. Flipping over. And just in case you guys want to go over this at a slower pace, you can slow down the video or you can check my key as well. Here, where is there more water? Inside the cell. So here we've got more H2O. So there's less H2O out here. There's more solute. So, yes, I'm asking about the beaker again, but what is the cell? Is it hypotonic? or hypertonic, because we know they're not the same, so it can't be isotonic. Hypotonic, hippopotamus, likes water, so more water here. So the cell is going to be hypo, more solute here. The solution is going to be hyper. So we would write hypertonic. Moving on here, now we have no more picture ones. So this might take you guys a little bit to practice. We have that M again. If you don't know what that M is, or you're taking a test and you have no idea what a word means, ask. If I can't tell you, I'll say no and plug in whatever word you want. You know that M represents a measurement of something. So you can say cups, you can say liters, you can say piles of whatever you want. So right here, I've got two moles of glucose or sugar. Here I've got one mole of glucose. Where is more glucose? This is a real life video and I just had a student came in. So two moles of glucose or one mole of glucose. There is more glucose on the outside of the cell. So this is going to be what? If it's got more glucose, it's got more sugar, that's going to be hypertonic. Okay. Less glucose means there can be more of what? Water. So that would be hypotonic. So the solution of the beaker, I didn't ask about the cell, would be hypertonic. I think you're getting the hint of this, so I'm going to skip these next to you. I'll just give you the answer. The solution of the beaker would be hypotonic because there's more water. There's more glucose here, so that would be hypertonic. Here, we've got a balance. So telltale sign, that's an isotonic. That's the easy one. 
Last two ones I do want to do with you because we're talking about the cell this time, not the beaker. <clears throat> so let's set it up the exact same way. In this one, where is there more glucose? There's more glucose out here than in here. So we know that this one's like a hyperactive kid. There's more sugar. So this one is hyper. Where is there more water then? If there's less glucose here, there's more water. So this would be hypo. So when I ask you about the cell, it is hypotonic. I would recommend doing this for all of them, saying what is the cell and what is the beaker, and then answering the question that's being asked. Because then you can double check yourself, almost like checking a math problem. Last but not least, we have 0 0.5 molar of beaker of, of glucose, and we've got one molar of glucose inside the cell. Where is there more glucose? On the inside. Since it's not balanced, we know it's not isotonic. So what is the inside of the cell going to be considered? Hypertonic, because there's more solute. If you guys need extra help, please come in and ask, but I hope this helped answer a lot of your questions. Have a good day.